You've been taking Tadalafil every morning, but here's the part no one warned you about. For some men, nothing happens. No boost, no difference, just disappointment. You followed the instructions. You expected results. And yet, here you are, wondering if your body's immune to the pill that's helped millions. Frustrating? Absolutely. But here's the twist. When Tadalafil doesn't work, it's not because you're a lost cause. It's because your body is trying to tell you something. Maybe it's your hormones. Maybe it's your blood vessels. Maybe your brain's quietly sabotaging your performance. This video is going to decode the most overlooked reasons men get zero results from daily Tadalafil. And more importantly, what you can actually do to fix it. Because it's not just about pills, it's about the system they're working in. Let's figure out where the breakdown is and how to restore what's missing. Tadalafil doesn't create an erection. It supports the natural process by maintaining blood flow where it's needed. Think of it like a supportive crew on a construction site. It doesn't build the foundation. It keeps the site running smoothly. But if the foundation is cracked or the workers don't show up, the project fails. Here's what's supposed to happen. Sexual arousal triggers nitric oxide release. This stimulates CGMP production. CGMP relaxes smooth muscles in penile arteries. Blood flows in. Tadalafil blocks the enzyme, PDE5, that breaks CGMP down. The erection is sustained. Now, here's what happens in non-responders. Poor nitric oxide production, often from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, or aging. Low CGMP, weak response to Tadalafil. Minimal or no improvement. Dr. Ann Truong recently noted that vascular conditions are a leading cause of Tadalafil failure. So even if you're taking the right dose, the problem may be upstream, your blood vessels, hormones, or mental health may be impeding the medication's effect. So no, it's not always the drug that's broken. It's often that your body isn't ready to respond to it, and that's exactly where we need to look next. To understand why Tadalafil may not be working, we need to zoom in on the inner workings of your erection, quite literally, at the cellular level. Erections depend on healthy endothelial cells, the ones lining your blood vessels. These cells release nitric oxide, which is essential for relaxing smooth muscles and allowing blood to flow into the penis. Tadalafil's job is to preserve that blood flow by preventing the breakdown of CGMP, the chemical that keeps the arteries relaxed. But here's the catch. If you're dealing with conditions like type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, or chronic inflammation, those same endothelial cells may be damaged. That means less nitric oxide, weaker CGMP response, and ultimately, less effect from Tadalafil. Add in low testosterone or even high levels of stress hormones like cortisol, and your system is even less responsive. Think of it like trying to inflate a balloon with a hole in it. No matter how hard you try, the system won't hold. As Dr. Rachel Rubin emphasized in her research, vascular and hormonal dysfunctions are often the silent saboteurs behind poor tadalafil response, and recognizing that is the first step toward fixing it. Daily tadalafil isn't an instant fix. It's a slow and steady strategy. Think of it like planting a seed. You won't see blooms on day one, but with the right conditions, you'll notice progress over time. Let's break it down. Week one. Some men begin noticing subtle changes, spontaneous morning erections, slightly improved firmness, or reduced anxiety simply from knowing the medication is on board. But results vary. Week two to three. Blood levels of Tadalafil begin to stabilize. If your body's systems are working properly, this is when you may start seeing consistent improvements. Erections may become more reliable, confidence builds, and intimacy feels less pressured. Week 4 plus. At this point, most men who are going to respond will see clear benefits, but only if the underlying foundation is healthy. If not, you may feel no difference at all. Some users on Reddit report an initial honeymoon phase followed by plateau, often interpreted as the drug wearing off. In reality, this may be due to poor vascular health, 
declining testosterone, or missed lifestyle changes, not drug tolerance, which is not supported by clinical data. So how do you know if Tadalafil isn't working for you, or if you just haven't given it enough time? The key is to look for specific patterns and symptoms. If you've been on daily 5 mg Tadalafil for two to four weeks and you're still not seeing improvement in morning erections, spontaneous arousal, or sexual performance, that's a red flag, especially if you've been consistent with dosing and timing. Other signs include experiencing side effects, like nasal congestion or back pain, without any noticeable benefit, a frustrating combo that often pushes men to quit prematurely. Emotionally, you may feel increased performance anxiety, reduced confidence, or even resentment toward your partner or doctor. These mental blocks can further interfere with sexual performance. Famous urologist Dr. Abraham Morgenteller noted that persistent ED despite daily Tadalafil is a clinical clue, not a dead end. It usually means there's an underlying issue, hormonal, vascular, or psychological, that needs to be addressed before the medication can work as intended. When Tadalafil doesn't deliver, most men assume the drug just doesn't work for them. But in clinical practice, the issue is rarely the drug itself. It's often what's happening behind the scenes. Let's break down the five hidden reasons why daily Tadalafil might fail. Reason 1. Unmanaged health conditions. Tadalafil relies on healthy blood vessels. Chronic illnesses like diabetes, hypertension, and obesity damage the endothelial lining, reducing nitric oxide production. That means even if Tadalafil blocks PDE5 as intended, there's not enough chemical signal to support an erection. According to Dr. Truong, vascular disease is a primary reason men don't respond and without treating the root condition, the medication may never work properly. Reason 2. Low testosterone. If you're dealing with low libido, fatigue, or reduced muscle mass, low testosterone might be to blame. Low T directly affects sexual desire and may reduce Tadalafil's effectiveness. Clinical studies show that men with hypogonadism often respond better to PDE5 inhibitors when testosterone therapy is added. A simple blood test can help diagnose this, ask for both total and free testosterone levels. Reason 3. Psychological Barriers Performance anxiety, stress, depression, or unresolved relationship issues can block sexual function even when the body is otherwise capable. Tadalafil doesn't fix psychological arousal, only the physical response. Mental tension overrides the body's ability to respond, creating a frustrating cycle. Tools like cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, or guided meditation can be game changers here. Reason 4. Poor dosing or timing. Some men give up too early or use Tadalafil inconsistently. Daily dosing works best when taken at the same time each day, allowing blood levels to stabilize. Others may benefit more from on-demand dosing, especially if their intimacy schedule is less frequent. Reason 5. Counterfeit or inconsistent medication. Online and international sources may sell counterfeit pills with little or no active ingredient. Always use a licensed pharmacy. If the results are wildly inconsistent, this could be a hidden culprit. If Tadalafil isn't working for you, don't give up. Think of it as a signal, not a failure. There are concrete steps you can take to turn things around. Step 1. Get a full medical evaluation. Request a complete lab workup. Testosterone levels, total and free, fasting blood glucose, HbA1c, lipid panel, thyroid function, and even prolactin. These markers often reveal silent conditions affecting performance. Some men may also need a penile Doppler ultrasound to assess blood flow. Step 2. Optimize lifestyle habits. Regular exercise, a Mediterranean-style diet, 7 to 8 hours of sleep, and limiting alcohol or nicotine all enhance erectile function. These changes improve endothelial health and nitric oxide levels, making Tadalafil more effective. Step 3. 
adjust your treatment plan. Discuss with your doctor whether you should switch to on-demand dosing, try sildenafil, or explore combination therapy, e.g. testosterone plus tadalafil. In severe cases, devices like vacuum erection devices or injections may be options. Step 4. Address the mind. Don't underestimate the power of the brain. Sex therapy, mindfulness, and partner support can enhance both desire and response. Tadalafil daily can be life-changing, but only if the rest of your body is ready to respond. If it's not working, it's not about bad luck or bad pills. It's often a sign of deeper issues, poor vascular health, low testosterone, unmanaged stress, or inconsistent use. The good news? Each of these can be addressed. You're not stuck, you just need the right plan. Understanding the root cause is the first step toward real, lasting performance and confidence. If this video helped you understand why Tadalafil might not be working and what to do about it, hit that like button and subscribe for more no-nonsense men's health insights. Share this with someone who needs answers and drop your questions below. I respond to every comment personally.